Hi, in this video I'm going to show how to install and activate the SDS environment for a Windows machine. I'm on Windows 10. Uh, so I'm here in the Google document that explains uh, how to do this. And the first step is to download the sds2020.yml file. Uh, so there's a link that, to that here. And if I click we should see this icon and then left click again and a new page should open and I should be given the option to download the file. So I'm going to click to download. I'm asked if I want to open or save. I want to save this to the hard disk and that's a small file so it should download really quickly. I'm going to go to my uh, file explorer and go to my downloads folder. You can see I'm here in my downloads folder. Um, the file's not here yet. I need to refresh. I'm going to refresh my downloads folder because it's quite big. It takes a while to update. Um, when I say big, I mean I've got a lot of uh, files in here. And now we can see the sds2020.yml file is in my downloads folder. So let's go back to um, the Google Doc with the instructions. And let's go down to the, the Windows instructions. Um, yeah, so this video assumes that you've already in school installed Anaconda Python. Um, if you haven't, go and find the video and instructions for installing Anaconda. Um, so our next step is to launch the Anaconda prompt, preferably as an administrator. Uh, so we're going to search for Anaconda prompt in the menu by clicking on the Windows uh, button on the taskbar or on the... Um, keyboard and I can actually see that I've recently added it here so I can see uh, there's the, the prompt that I want if it wasn't there I could start to type anaconda uh, and find it and so I'm going to find anaconda navigator but I actually want the anaconda prompt if you just click on this you'll open it as a regular user it's best if you can to run as an administrator. If you can't, that's no problem, uh, but try and run this as, as an administrator. And so here's the prompt. Okay, good. So now you can see I'm, um, I'm on the C drive in Windows system directory. And this base actually tells me that I'm using the base environment for Anaconda. This, this is gonna change later as we'll see. So my next step, uh, as it shows in the instructions, if we come back into here, first of all, let's check that we've got uh, Anaconda installed correctly. So we'll do Python dash dash version. And you should see Python 3.8.3 if, you, if you've installed this correctly. So that's there, that's good. Uh, and so next, we need to go to our downloads directory. Uh, if you don't know the path to the downloads directory, this is a useful uh, command to know here. Um, the um, percentage symbol, user profile percentage symbol. So if we come back into the, the prompt, we're going to do CD. That's change directory. Uh, percentage sign, user profile, percentage sign. So that's the same as the tilde on Mac, forward slash, downloads, forward slash. And you can see that Windows has worked out but that by user profile, I'm user K1076631. I could have just typed this in uh, myself to change directory. Okay, great. Let's go back. Uh, yeah, so we're, we're now in the downloads folder, downloads directory in the terminal. And so now we want to enter this command, conda-env space create space dash f space sds2020.yml make sure you type that correctly uh, and when we hit this this will start to install the environment it takes some time uh, as before when installing anaconda you might want to make a cup of tea uh, or do something else for a few minutes um, it depends on the on the speed of your computer but it can take several minutes uh, uh, to install this so i'll just hit enter there And hopefully, yes, we're going to start collecting package metadata. And now 
Conda will start to install all of the packages that are defined in that sds2020.yml file, which is just a text file telling Conda what, what packages, what versions of those packages we want to use in this particular virtual environment. So as I said, this is going to take a little bit of time. I'll just let it run uh, a little bit before pausing the video uh, to see um, the sort of output that you, could, you should get as it runs through installing the different packages. This may be quicker on your machine if it's more powerful than the laptop I'm using here, um, or it may be slower depending upon your actual uh, local machine that you're using. So I paused the video there for a short while, um, and now I've restarted just so you can see the sort of output that you should see as Conda runs through. So we can see things are nearly finishing here. It's been quite some time, nearly a uh, well, good 20 minutes on this computer. It must be getting old and slow. Okay, so this is finally uh, finished. It took some time on my machine. Uh, and we can see this is the sort of view that you should see in uh, the Anaconda prompt uh, when you're finished. The quickest way now, as you can see here, we've installed the environment. Each time we want to use it, we have to activate it. So we install the environment just once. So that process we've been through, we just do that once on, on a computer. Each time we want to use the environment for analysis, we have to activate it. And so the quickest uh, way to do that is actually uh, in the terminal here, conda, sorry, I'm not in the terminal yet. Okay, here we go. Conda activate SDS 2020. And now you can see here on the left, we've gone from base, base environment to SDS 2020 environment. Uh, if we CD into a different directory, let's go to my Dropbox. And now I can just launch a uh, uh, Jupyter Notebook. And the reason I went to my Dropbox is because I know I've got some notebooks in there that we can actually uh, have a look at hopefully once this opens up. Here it comes, Jupyter Notebook is loading up from the terminal and it should open up a browser window. Here it is. And here's my Jupyter Notebook. So I could go into CodeCamp and I could find a notebook to open up. Here it comes. There it is. Here's our Jupyter Notebook. I can click in the cell, click Run, and we're off. And, and here we're using the SDS environment. So we've got all the packages that we need for our spatial data science analysis. Launching uh, the um, Jupyter Notebook and activating the environment from, from the command line is one way to do it. Let's close this. Um, so I close that. Yeah, leave that page. Let's quit out of here. <clears throat> and close this so that we know we've closed it down. Um, you can see we've, we've closed this in the terminal now. The other way to launch a notebook and activate the SDS environment is using Anaconda Navigator, which is the graphical interface. So if I open up my Windows menu, Anaconda Navigator, and I can just click on here. So this is, going, this is now um, 
a more of a graphical interface uh, environment. So we're going to be clicking uh, on icons to activate the environment and then launch the notebooks. Let's just wait for it to load up. Here it comes. It's initializing. It's loading the applications. Loading my environments, that's important. We'll, we'll be able to select one in a second. And here we are. So here's Anaconda Navigator. Um, to activate the environment, we come up here to the top, and we, here we go, we can see our two environments that we've got, the base environment and the SDS 2020 environment. So I click on SDS 2020, the computer's having to think about it. It's loading the packages, as you can see down here in, the, in our SDS 2020 environment. And then when we're ready, once that's loaded, we click launch here um, to launch the Jupyter Notebook with the SDS. There we go. And we can launch from here. The other way to do this is to click on environments. And you can see a list of environments here. And we click on this arrow and open with Jupyter, Jupyter Notebook. Either way you do it, whether it's from the home screen or from the environment screen, uh, both of these ways will now open up Jupyter Notebook in our browser. Comes. And so again, I could go to my Dropbox, Code Camp, and open up my notebook. And off I go. There it is. So both of those ways for um, activating the environment and launching Jupyter Notebook are shown down here in the uh, instructions uh, on the Google uh, document. So, hope you found that useful. That's how to install and activate the SDS 2020 virtual environment with Anaconda. Um, yes, it might take some time to in install it, depending upon your machine. Um, remember, you install once for your machine. But every time you want to use the environment, you have to activate.